talk a little science as well. Imagination Station has made the trip over to join us, and Dan joins us. What are we going to be talking about this morning, Dan? Yes, so today we actually brought a ping pong ball cannon, all right, that is hopefully going to be capable of accelerating our ping pong ball in excess of 400 miles per hour. Wow, ping pong balls very light. They're not very sturdy. It's right, a, so if you've seen a ping pong ball, sure. very light. They don't have a lot of mass. If you, like, threw it through the air, it's not going to go very fast. All right, but we have this contraption built here. Um, that it's hopefully going to be able to launch it very fast. Give me a few of the science pr principles behind how this is expected to work to sure. accelerate this ball 400 miles an hour. Sure. So first off, we have a vacuum pump. All right, so this is not a compressor. This is actually going to be pumping air out of our contraption okay. here. Um, then we have a pressure gauge. It's going to help us measure the pressure. All right, and this is our cannon. We already have our ping pong ball loaded up inside. All right. It's right down here. And then the ends are sealed with Dritos bags. All right, and they're very strong, and they create actually a very good seal. Very strong, but not very thick. It's a very right. thin. Very thin, material. but it creates a good seal All right. to create a vacuum inside of this tube. All right, and then we're going to burst the Doritos bag at this end. Okay. All right, and that's going to allow the air from the outside at uh, atmospheric pressure, so 14.7 pounds per square per inch. Square inch which is All a right, it's going to rush in behind the ping pong ball, and since there's nearly no air in, in, fr okay. in front of the ping pong ball, it's going to allow it to go very fast, very little wind resistance. It's going to come flying okay. out this end, and hopefully we can get it to go through our uh, empty soda cans wow. that we have. At so it looks like you've, you've had some success with this in the past. We have had some success. All right. um, you can see here that this ping pong ball has actually got pushed all the way in there and has a huge gaping hole. All right. We also have had some go completely through the cans. Well, so, let's give it a try and let's see where we end let's up Let's give with it this a try. One, right? Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip on. I'm going to go ahead and hold, hold up this uh, pressure gauge here. All right. Would you like this open yet? Oh, or? no, not yet. Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm going to turn on the pressure, uh, turn on the vacuum first. Okay. All right. So we're going to create a vacuum inside the tube. Go ahead and open up the valve now. Slowly. You right. can open up. Just go ahead and oh. open it up. All right, so we've created a near vacuum inside of just our tube now. All right. Okay. But when I open up this valve, all right, we're going to create, create a vacuum inside of our cannon. All right. But I'm going to do it very slowly. All right, it's kind of a delicate process because if I do it too fast, we can burst the seals. All right, and that wouldn't be very good. Okay. So a lot I'm going to do it in this very okay. slowly. Okay. So slowly burst the seal. If we watch, you can see our gauge moving. Okay, so our gauge up in my hand is Slowly. moving. Slowly. And this All right. is... So now we can see our pressure starting to drop back down. All right, so we're creating that vacuum inside of our tube. You can go ahead and put that down, Chris. All right. All right, so what I'm going to have you do is you're going to actually launch it for me. Okay, so you want go me to ahead and grab this, your keep this open. Too, go ahead and right? grab your sharp device over here. Okay. All right. And on the count of three, I'm going to close this valve and shut off my machine. And okay. as soon as I do that, you can go ahead and burst the end. You don't have to do it too hard, just pop the okay. tap. Ready? I can do that. So three, two, one. I'm gonna close this. And then shut you, off the vacuum off, and go. All right. So now if we look at the end, we've actually blown off our seal here. Okay. And we did dent the can a little bit. Okay. All right, but there's a lot of variables that happen here uh, in order to the pressure in the air, uh, the humidity, slight defects in the can, sure. or the ping pong ball. All right, but science doesn't always work the way we want it to every time. Which right? is why we learn from science and you learn from each and every science experiment. Exactly, and we have had some success you've, you've stories had, in the past. You've had proof. The we proof got some is in the can. Cool uh, really quick wrap up, Hero Day down at Imagination Station last weekend was amazing. You guys yes. had a fantastic turnout for that. What's coming up next? Right, it guys? went very well. It's, uh, it's the middle of summer. Kids are still uh, out of school. So if you want something to keep the learning going throughout the summer, you can head on down to Imagination Station. Um, on Saturdays, Lucas County residents 12 and under uh, get in for free with paid adult admission. Okay. So you can come on down, check us out. All right, Dan, appreciate that one. And we will be right back. Stick around after this.